<clears throat> schizophrenia and other mental disorders such as bipolar are all fragmentations of us and fragmentations of our true essence, which is multidimensional in nature. And when we are so fixated on a particular reality and how it reacts and works within our own mind, then we are not properly becoming attuned to our multidimensionality. The multidimensional personalities or versions of you, these are parallel timelines that you also simultaneously exist in because time is not real, it is happening all at once, and it is just an illusion for us to make sense of why my hand goes from here to here because it's relevant for us now to understand why that happens but if we are to truly expand upon what it means to be a co-creator and a manifester in all of its senses then we are to no longer identify with our single minded our single viewpoint on what reality is and that viewpoint is often given to us by the scientific narratives and our upbringing and um, all the conditioning and programming that we have been instilled with so nothing right wrong good or bad about it it's just something that we all have been accustomed to and we have had to grow up with and learn from and it's actually been a wonderful teacher for us as if we are to really step into our power, then we can say no to that and then step more fully into who we are and which is multidimensional, which is beyond just the body. And the key lesson here is that you are not the body and you are your frequency that the body operates from. You are the spirit, you could call it, the soul, the state of being, the awareness that is present at all times, in all places, and it is there even when you are sleeping, when you are unconscious and you are not conscious of this physical world. It is what keeps your body alive this awareness and you you don't have to be cognizant of it you don't have to be aware of it on a conscious level because it is always there and it is always supporting you in your life and this tapping into this awareness is tapping into abundance because abundance is only a feeling and so is happiness and so is gratitude and so is sadness and so is depression and then so is fear. Uh, all the things that we experience in life are subjective. They are not objective. We are not objective um, vehicles. We are in the sense that we conduct within it however there's a much subtler and much more profound operation going on production and this production is going on without you even noting <laughs> you're just there watching the show and you don't have any idea of what the builders are doing of the stage the people that put on the show that people that put on this great great play for us and the more you tap into your multi-dimensionality you can begin to own back your co-creator ability to start to build with them build with the ones that are 
making this whole production possible, <laughs> this whole production of human consciousness and human experience. So, and you know, these, these players or these workers or these builders that are working behind the scenes are your self, are yourself. And the more that you work with them, the more that you identify, not so much identify, the more that you become aware of that they are you. They are just as much a part of you as your name and your upbringing, your past and your family and your ethnicity and your nationality and your so on, your work, your profession, your skills, whatever. Once you identify that you are as much in this dimension as you are in ones that are not physical, the more that you can become more aligned with who you are. And this is the problem with schizophrenia and bipolar disorder is that people are so rooted in their own identity and their own uh, idea and their concept and descriptions and their definition of what reality is what reality is, is much more than you can ever imagine. And for us to think that we are a certain way and we are limited to this certain way is making us unhappy. It's quite simply just making us more stressed and making us more miserable and fearful. So this um, regaining of what you are capable of is allowing you to tap into that parallel self that you are. And that parallel self is just as much a valid experience as this experience is now, that you are experiencing now within you. And you have a choice. You can tap into that parallel self where they are happy where they're at and they do feel gratitude where they're at. And that is a parallel reality. And it's right within your reach. It's right, right within your grasp. You can imagine it. You can feel it. You can sense it. It can be. It can be your state of being. So if you are to further your evolution and your own experience as a human being, it is time to make peace with those compartmentalized selves that you have been so non-acceptant of. You have not been, you, you have not been um, welcoming to them and you have shut them out and you have given them, um, nothing but resistance and the more that you resist uh, the more that they will persist <laughs> so this is the whole teaching of the mind this is the whole teaching of enlightenment is that when you are going against what the mind has to say and what the mind has to offer in terms of your state of being then and you are only validating the physical and not the mind, then your mind is and your own happiness and joy is going to be very limited to what the circumstances are eternal, ex external to you. So understanding this, we can now integrate and align more fully our own integrity in our own multi-dimensional nature as a multi-dimensional being because we are not simply just the body. So understanding that now, we can go forward, you can go forward into your life. If you feel bipolar, then this is a great uh, aff affirmation that you are feeling a multi-dimensional shift within you. You are feeling a split, a separation, a fragmentation. 
And in order to heal that, in order to make that whole again, it's really important for you to honor and hear what that version of you has to say and also choose what it is that you in this life and this reality and this timeline choose what it is that you want so if one lifetime or one uh, personality or version of you says something that you does not align with you and does not make you feel good then it's really important for you to align with a version of you that does align with you and, and that does um give you more greater joy so when we step into this this power and this capacity then we are more fully living into what it is to be human and what it is to be part of a much more connected universe and much more connected cosmos than we have ever imagined. Um, a lot of you are probably feeling these symptoms and the more that you place yourself as a particular diagnosis, um, the more that you are f compartmentalizing yourself and you are the more that you're rigid you're making yourself rigid to a certain reality and that's your choice and that is perfectly perfectly um fine for you to choose that and if you are to choose something else then it's really simple you simply find what it is that makes you feel happy and makes you feel better about your life. Even if it's, you know, very minute, if it's just something like um, doing something for yourself that is you've been postponing or putting off. And those things that you put off are yourself, <laughs> your, your true alignment of yourself because what you're doing is compartmentalizing yourself to a certain personality or uh, responsibility or kind of expectation for other people to um, register you as and that is out of alignment with your own authenticity because authenticity has nothing to do with consistency and everything to do with spontaneity or spontaneity or innocence and this innocence is that you are an explorer and that you are a multi-dimensional being that doesn't only experience one uh, facet of who you really are which is the infinite and you are just a portion of that you play a role as that and you play many other roles and that's up to you on what you want to play and you play within this reality in this lifetime so might as well make it a fun one right <laughs> so let's make it all fun let's make it all joyous and peaceful and we will eventually uh be who it is that we are in alignment with in every moment so take a moment align bring back to yourself what you have not accepted and allowed to be and simply go through the process of breathing into that and accepting it for what it is as it is existent on some other parallel reality and take it one step at a time make it a blissful and happy experience because that version of you also wants to be happy and you guys you you work together you work together for your own good as your personality and it's not their life it's your life and you choose they are just there to help you and assist you 
in uh, your ability and free will to make a decision and make a choice. So I love you all and please like and subscribe um, if you're interested in any appointments and making any sessions uh, I'm available and we can talk about doing a soul blueprint activation session so also if you are interested in my book the nature of thoughts it's also available on my website and in Amazon so I appreciate your your time and I hope to hear from you and I'll see you next time